Hey guys, Tim with Neen's Bees, talking swarm traps today. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I, I had done a video, uh, two videos earlier, um, that I was going to throw in two parters. Um, and then I remembered one of my subscribers is always leaving comments like, dude, turn your phone sideways. Uh, so I deleted them because I didn't have my phone sideways. So anyway, today is May 31st. Um, it's Thursday, May 31st, and I'm off because I worked Memorial Day. And I took my three-dayer at the end of the week, um, checking for some honeybees here, our new new hives, I don't see any. So anyway, talking swarm traps real quick. It's beautiful today, uh, 65 degrees, a little, little cloudy, but not a breath of wind. And so I might get in some hives later. But um, I've had these pots, these peat pots sitting around that I got from a buddy of mine who owns a nursery. Um, and they are 12 by 18s. I'm sorry, 18 by 12s, I guess is what they call them. 18 by 12s, and they are from Western Pulp. And if you can read that number, because I can't, uh, it's on there. Anyway, um, so what I did was I took some of, this is just going to be a real quick one. Took some of this window foam, okay? Put some duct tape on the bottoms, because these all have holes, one, two, three, four. So clearly entrance holes for the hive when it's sitting on the tree, you're gonna go on the bottom. You're not gonna have an entrance hole in the top because all kinds of rainwater and crap would get in there. Um, I did this one with two holes just to try it because I have three of these. The other ones I only put one holes, one hole in. Um, hey, look, my eight frame uh, vents are done. Another, that's a different video, remember? Anyway, these ones I only put one hole in. And so I took that stuff, that foam stuff, and um, I had sealed up uh, the other three holes. I will then cut that out. I'll just cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And I'm gonna take some, because I have so much of this, these crappy old frames like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, just shave all this crap off of here, all of this old comb, ball it up, and um, into just like a, a wax ball. And then when I cut this stuff out with my knife, I'm going to melt the wax over, number one, the top, the outside holes, but then the inside holes. And so then, because I have so many of those old frames, what I did was um, I just took my little saw here, just my little old Stanley Fat Max, and I cut these old frames down. So I cut one to fit in lower in the box and I don't know how I'm gonna adhere these I'll probably adhere these just with a screw from the outside maybe I'll just put a screw through the outside of them uh, maybe I won't do anything because if I screwed them from the outside that'd be a pain in the ass to try to get them out um, if a swarm does move in so I might just wedge them down in there I'm not sure um, but then here's the other one so I ran doubles in here so two so there'll be two and I might just be able to press them down in like that. So there'll be two chunks of old drawn comb along with uh, whatever lure, like if it's lemongrass or if it's swarm commander, whatever you use. And then um, I'll put plywood on the back and that'll be um, in just a little bit, the addition to this video. But uh, since I was digging around out in the garage here and finishing these um, vent frames that I make, I decided to just, these pots have been sitting around for like two months, and so I decided to do these. So um, hang tight, and I will show you what it looks like when they're done. Okay, so swarm traps. Um, I have one completed here, uh, but wanted to get with you guys. And so you saw um, that I had taken these peat pots, and so what I did was I had put the... Um, window foam on the inside of them like I showed you and then on the outside I put some on the outside but I cut it all off too and so you've got to cut that window foam off and then I had a bunch of old beeswax and so with the old beeswax I just took fired up my torch grabbed an old pair of needle nose pliers and then I because I didn't want any of the I didn't want any of the window foam um, around the, you know, kind of in the, with the bees there, I just melted a bunch of wax. I had just got a bunch of old balls of beeswax, and if, I'm sure that you guys have got them around too. And so, um, 
I just melted the beeswax over the window foam to seal it up just even tighter, but to obviously give it that much more of a smell um, of the bees. Um, and so what we'll do is put that dry real quick. I'm going to take my comb that I have, those frames that I have of the comb that I showed you. And so I made three different styles of pots. I left one with just a drain, just one original drain hole. I did another one with a drain hole on the bottom. And then I took my little hole punch and I punched one just directly in the center here. And then this one, I left two holes on the bottom here and here. And then I sealed everything else up. So there's that window foam. Again, too, on the inside, I cut all that window foam away and I uh, just melted a bunch of beeswax over the uh, holes there. So, as you can see there, too, there, there, and there. So then here's that old comb that I have. So I've got one piece that's a little bit longer and we got one short piece and one long piece. So here's a short piece and so my short pieces um, just kind of cram, I'm just cramming them down in here. Uh, I had talked about drilling them out. I'm not going to drill them out uh, or I'm not going to even um, try to adhere them in there uh, because they would be tough to get out. As it gets warmer, this wax will help these things set up. So um, I cut my frames just at an angle, as you can see, so I can kind of wedge them in there. So there's one, and then here's another one. And I'm just going to push those down in there like this. There and they're they're pretty sturdy. Like they're not they're not gonna come out at all. Um, so I've got two chunks in there. Then what I'll do also is um, I'm gonna grab the old DoTerra lemongrass oil. Obviously, you know, you guys, if you watch my videos, you know what I use. So lemongrass oil is going on. A few dabs here onto the wood obviously so it absorbs and then um, it'll absorb into that peat too into that <clears throat> peat pot so those are done okay so I uh, had made plywood um, and I made I'm, this is probably way overkill um, but also if you know me um, I am always way overkill on everything so, um, this is 5 8 plywood. Here again, you can probably just go with a quarter or whatever. Um, but I had cut handles in mine. I just took my whole hog uh, on my drill and just punched. It almost looks like a three-hole queen cage, the inside of a three-hole queen cage. Uh, but that way I can grab them and climb the ladder, climb the post, the tree, whatever. With them. Um, and then had just drilled a couple of holes there that I'll show you. Um, on the tops there. So, this just sits on here like this. We're going to grab our drill, and I'm using just one and a quarter inch, and just center that thing like this. I'm using one and a quarter inch uh, just deck screws. You don't need to go crazy with it because um, if you catch a swarm, you're going to have to get the swarm out of there, um, obviously. And so, um, only four, I would only go four sides, north, south, east, west, top, bottom, that's not anything, top, bottom, side to side. There. 
So this one's done. So here's our handles for it. Um, again, probably a little bit heavy, but you can move the thing all around wherever you want. Um, and nice and sealed up. I have seen people paint them. I've heard people say, oh, you should uh, swarm traps do better green, swarm traps do better uh, different colors. I'm probably just going to leave mine. So then I took, I drilled a couple holes here uh, just because you never know what, if something's going to be taller or shorter, where you're going to have to put your screws when you're out in the field. And then um, I'll be able to strap, uh, put a ratchet strap around the outside of these too if I need to. And that's it. Um, so we'll, I'll put up a video and see how they work. But I just wanted to share the rest of my swarm trap building with you. If you have any comments, ideas, likes, dislikes, let me have them. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Tim with Neen's Bees.